Hello and thank you for watching our video. I include this shot just to remind myself and others that when we start with this rack of raw material we can go anywhere we please in our shop with flashlight design and functionality. Before we get into machining this head we're going to make I wanted folks to see the extra drop-in features for our P60 bodies. All of our P60 lights will accept most of the commercial P60 drop-ins that I've ever seen. They work just like any other P60 body and drop-in. For a little more flexibility we make our own drop-in that's got a spring on it like a P60 for folks that like the spring. And then we make one that is a machine fit that we really bear down on and as this heats up it pushes out and swells, swells up and pushes out against the, the body for better heat transfer. All of these can be used as triples with optics or singles with optics or even quads with optics. We offer all of these in either copper or aluminum and stand alone if you want one but typically you need to send us your light so we can make sure it fits and that you're satisfied with your purchase. This is a head we just made over 500 of for a customer's light order. We'll be machining this for you a little later in the video. Every single part requires OD machining or as I say for this design, OD sculpting, ID boring, relief cuts, and threading. We'll be machining this head out of raw stock just as I'm showing it here. The body end machines first so that we can later use a mandrel to hold the part while machining the bezel end. After sculpting the OD we can't any longer hold the stock directly in the chuck. As with most every flashlight part we make, there are multiple sets of threads, OD, ID dimensions. All of it varies. Although it looks finished, it still needs tumbling and anodizing. This one gets double O-rings for the lens as these are going to be in the oil field, out in the oil industry. The parts you see us using here are what we call shop parts, so the seams and finish are not complete by any means. We use these to help us design the lights and make sure that everything fits. Okay, let's machine out the OD surface of this head. I've turned the coolant off so that you can see something besides a white river. Did you catch that tool change? This is all done with code fed to the machine. The spindle's at about 800 RPM here in a counterclockwise direction. What you see here is we've just started a slope. Right now, of course, you can tell the tool's not touching the material. This, uh, this takes a couple of passes. We're taking off about thirty thousandths at a pass here, a little more. You're going to have to put up with me lubricating this part with a squirt can, so, uh, but I thought it'd be better than, than you having to go through the White River to see what you might want to look at here. Okay, tool change and we're going to cut some grooves. I'm a pretty conservative programmer. I pay for the machines and the tools that we need them to last, so I don't go at this like a lot of folks do. This uh, this entire OD surface here is about a minute and 30 seconds, I think, if I recall. Okay, we're just about through with this OD. We'll back off now. And uh, due to the fact that we're videoing this, I'm making one little change in the programming. So uh, 
We'll be back in just a second and cut the inside. Okay, we're going to take this boring tool and do an ID bore here. Incidentally, that tool change was not speeded up. That's uh, this th These things are so fast you just wouldn't believe it. We're just doing a little scratch pass here. We'll, we'll sure enough take off a little material this next pass. This tool is actually cutting three different diameters in here. So, uh, uh, sorry for the out of focus. The turret kind of gets in the way and confuses the camera now and then. Again, we're running about 800 RPM. For inside diameter work, uh, uh, I like to take off about 25 thousandths. This is going to cut a relief at the front of this ID and uh, then it scoots out just a little bit. You'll see it if you watch close. You'll see it uh, scoot out just a little bit because it's leaving a different diameter. There it was for the threads. And then after the threads it uh, makes a little recess on the on the far side of the threads. You really don't have to do all of that. It's just my way of programming. That little recess on the front side of the threads, we call it a courtesy cut. It makes the threading a little nicer when you start a, a body into this head. And on the far side, where the tool actually enters, uh, it, it saves the tool just a little bit by having that little slope in there. If you look inside now, I'll get this spray can out of the way. If you look inside, you can see the offset inside. We're just about done here with the ID work on this end. Fixing to have a little tool change here and cut some threads. Watch the speed of this. Uh, watch the speed of this approach. Again, this is not. I, I, I didn't speed this up. This is the way it is. So uh, you want to make sure that you're going to hit that hole. It causes a terrible wreck when you don't. We're cutting uh, 28 threads per inch here. And it takes several passes. I, I cut my threads real conservative as, as per pass. And then I like to use what we call two spring passes. I have some folks ask me about why we use so many threads. Well, it's just more surface for good heat dissipation. We can use any of them, but uh, we like that number 28 pretty good. All right, there's the ID boring into threads. We'll back this thing out of the way and take this out of here and see what we got. Not too bad a finish. A little tumbling and anodizing and you won't know it. You can see the threads there and all the chips down inside. We uh, we got a nice nice scald on that one. It's a good deal. We'll be back in a minute and uh, we'll go to work on the other end. Okay, we've cleaned it out and uh, got it screwed on to a mandrel here. Now we're going to Cut the bezel end. Time to make some more chips. The front side of this head is a little shorter run. This is a really shallow area. I'm going to cut part of this out of here so you don't have to watch it all, but uh, we're just going to do a little boring here and then we'll run in there and thread it. This is cutting 32 threads per inch, which on an internal bezel there's only three or four threads typically used, so there we go. We're just about done with it. These are short run parts. Uh, these, will, these will make you work hard. That's it. You've, uh, you've just watched the entire process of 
OD and ID machining a head for a P60 flashlight at Texas Lumen Shop. Take a look at it here and see what we got. Well, looks like it worked. I'll be dying. We'll give you a little close up here. Nice clean work. That's uh, that's just been wiped down and and uh, I got it all screws together. We we pride ourselves in our threads. Again, these are short runs. Uh, and these, these parts still have got to be tumbled. That's just a shop bezel, so it's not going to look real pretty on there. They're thinner than that, naturally. We'll see if we can get an image of it when it's done. We made a whole bunch of these. Uh, the, the, the folks that uh, are getting them sure are liking them. We'll make you one, too, if you want one. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.